Maybe turn the key light down maybe a little bit. Turn the camera settings up a little bit. And I got somewhat of a dramatic cinematic look as you can see. The background's dark. I got the color in the background as you can see with the tube light. I got the key light that's lighting me. Now if I were to go up on it a little bit, it could look a little bit better. But as you can see in the background, it's going to spill off some light a little bit more to where it's going to light up everything. Now I kind of just want it on me. So I'm going to turn it down to where it's just on me. And as you can see, I'm kind of more dramatic than before. I'm lit up to where it's just me. You can see a background light and pretty much color on the side. And that's it. All right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to light a room from this to this. All right, so first things first, in order to get the more cinematic look in your videos when it comes to lighting your setup, as you guys can see, this is my YouTube setup right here. I have one light, two light, three light. Now, you guys can't see these lights that are off screen. These lights are pretty much set over top of me to the side and in the back. Now, when it comes to lighting up a setup, it's pretty simple. You really need to know the basics when it comes to that. Where do you want your light to be? Meaning your subject. Your subject is yourself or your subject could be an object. For me, it's myself. Now, in order for me to maintain that, I have a light, like I said, right up at top of me and I call that the key light. This key light is going to light myself to make myself pop. My next light would be the, what I call background light. Now. A lot of people will call this the hair light. I call this the background light just because I'm using it not only to light up the background, but to add more light to the scene, so to say. And then the third light would be the colorful light in the back. Um, this is pretty much generally a light that you're going to stick in the background to not only pop the scene, but make the scene stand out a little bit more. That's pretty much the basics of lighting when it comes to lighting. All right, now, so if you take a look at my actual setup right now, here's my camera. My camera's facing right here. As you guys can see, this is my setup. This is what my setup looks like with the lights on, of course. Um, this is how I record my videos for YouTube. Now, I also have a camera right here that is a product camera. This is what I do for my product uh, sh shots, my reviews, etc., like that. This is what I use for all my product shots. I use this whole area right here. I got a camera that pretty much shoots down so I could get that all nice and looking good. Now I use this as my key light. Like I said, again, this light right here is my studio key light. It'll light the subject. Not only will it light the subject with it's myself, but it will light up the product right here as well. Whatever I'm using for this camera as well. Now this is my second light right here. This is what I call the background light. Like I said, again, this is the background light. And what this light does, I have it on stand as you guys can see, mounted up right there and it's going to light the background as you can see this is my actual this is the actual tube light that I use for my background to make it look more cool in the background now I can change colors I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now I can actually change colors as you can see I can make it green I can make it blue purple red whatever yellow green whatever whatever color I pretty much want I can make it that color I usually typically stick to blue because that's kind of like the nature of my actual studio. But all in all, that is pretty much my setup, what I use to light my setup. It is very key to have good lighting because if you don't have good lighting, you're most likely not going to have a good setup. It's not going to look right. Now, I don't have the best lighting setup. I'm going to show you guys some techniques as to how I achieve the best look. All right. So if you notice while recording, all right. So if you kind of notice while recording, um, you kind of notice the lighting in the background. It looks very, it looks very well lit. Um, I don't want to say it's cinematic. Um, if I were to make this cinematic, all I would do is literally turn the light down a little bit more. And what I would do, I would go into my camera settings and I would literally just bring the light. I would literally change the lighting in the actual camera. Now, you do need to know a little bit about cameras to do that. But as opposed to lighting a setup, this could actually help you for if you don't have, for instance, a key light and you kind of want to be able to do it through the camera, you can't. If you only have a little bit of lighting this works perfect um, if you have a lot of lighting it's obviously gonna work better for you it's gonna be able to set up to where you can actually be able to see your subject a lot better now if I were to go cinematic if I really wanted to go cinematic I could I would just have to lower the tones of the light a little bit just slowly slowly adjust my lighting to where I want it to be maybe even remove the key maybe even remove the background light maybe up the key light a little bit, maybe turn the key light, maybe turn the key light down maybe a little bit, turn the camera settings up a little bit, and I got somewhat of a dramatic cinematic look as you can see. The background's dark, I got the color in the background as you can see with the tube light, I got the key light that's lighting me. Now if I were to go up on it a little bit, it could look a little bit better, but as you can see in the background, it's gonna spill off some light a little bit more 
to where it's going to light up everything. Now, I kind of just want it on me, so I'm going to turn it down to where it's just on me. And as you can see, I'm kind of more dramatic than before. I'm lit up to where it's just me. You can see a background light and pretty much color on the side, and that's it. You can light your setup in so many different ways. You just have to tinker with it, uh, trial and error, and literally use your imagination to where you want your setup to be. It's that simple. So really, it was that easy from to go from no lights to light. Simple as that. That's pretty much it for this video. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. That is my lighting setup for my studio. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm out, bro. And that being said, that's it for this video. Let's get it. YouTube 2021.